Last Thursday, MHS had the special opportunity to host 1998 grad and current Google employee, Ryan Germick, as a guest speaker. Throughout his day, Ryan gave presentations and interacted with students and staff. So, um, my name is Ryan and I work at Google and I lead the uh, Google Doodle team. Also a Maryville High School alumni back here to say hello. So when I started at Google, I had like the most generic title. I was called a web specialist, which actually uh, meant much of nothing. Like I was totally a generalist and I would make icons and design web pages and make illustrations and I just kind of was a jack of all trades. Um, over time, I started focusing more on um, the doodles in particular and doing like illustrated, animated and interactive projects on the homepage. But um, in the last you know, four or five years, I've diversified my, my uh, sort of group a bit. And uh, now in addition to doing doodles, I also am responsible for the editorial voice of the Google Assistant. So if you ask it like a goofy question or chit chat with it or want to play a game, uh, you're likely encountering my team's work there as well. So my official title after all the changes and everything is actually I'm, I'm a principal designer. Um, but it's kind of like another title. It doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, and the thing I principal design are the Google Doodles and the assistant personality for Google Assistant. Okay Google, why did Ryan Germick come back to MHS? Check out these results. So um, I, you know, I graduated from Maryville like over 20 years ago, which is wild because all the students I talked to were, were not even born when I graduated. So besides just like feeling old, the uh, sensation that I had coming here was like just an opportunity to see what's going on in a place where, where, I, where I grew up, you know, and it's a, it's a chance for me to get to know myself better because I can reflect on, you know, the environment where I came from. So selfishly, like, it was exciting for me to talk to the students and the teachers and, you know, um, and, just, and just reacquaint myself with the community. Uh, I miss, I'm Mr. Nixich from Maryville High School, the business slash computer science department, and I had the opportunity to have Ryan in my classroom speaking to my students, uh, and I didn't realize how powerful he was at Google. Uh, when I had the opportunity to have a, an employee from Google come to my classroom, I contacted Mr. Stamper and said, sure, would love to have him. When I came to find out that he was leading the Google the Doodle for Google team that places the image on the Google homepage on a daily basis. I was awestruck, and I think my students were as well. Uh, we were honored to have him, and to have a former pirate make it out to Silicon Valley out in California and to work at a technology giant like Google is very inspirational for a teacher like me and also for uh, the students of Maryville High School. Um, as far as why I came back here, I mean, um, I uh, had my 20th year reunion last summer, and I came back and I actually got to like tour the studio and like see the freshman wing, which is new. I hadn't been here before. Um, and it was just like, you know, gave me a, a sense of like, wow, like so much has changed and I'd love to share my story and connect, you know, with the, with the, with the, with the school. And, and, and I know that it meant a lot to me when I was, um, uh, uh, in this in this period of my life, to have exposure to like, you know, meet someone who's lived out of the country, or to um, see someone who had like an unusual job, just to get, broaden my sense of what's possible. And since I had those opportunities when I was in school, like I wanted to share that opportunity with others. Ryan revealed that some of the classes and teachers from his time here at MHS were major influences and helped him with his self-expression. It was really the I remember being in. Um, uh, English class where I had a chance to write essays. That, that, that was a really exciting opportunity. My teacher at the time, Ms. Fry, um, we had a deal where if I wrote in my colloquial speaking voice, where I use slang or run on sentences for intentional stylistic decisions, like as long as I made a note that I knew I was breaking a grammar rule, she would let me have that voice. That was really cool because it, it allowed me to express myself and not like in a, a really like basic like five paragraph essay form, but really to have like a you know a point of view and a, a tone all my own. So that was amazing to, and to have that in English class. And then I spent most of my time in the art loft. So any chance I had, I would, you know, finish my Spanish test early and I'd bounce, you know, and I'd go spend time on the computer or working on a drawing or a painting. And it was just amazing that teachers like Miss Rice or Miss Oldenburg um, would allow me to have that space to just uh, entrust me just to be creative, largely on my own. So by the time I was a senior, I was in the art loft, you know, two, three hours a day creating things and giving, getting an opportunity to develop the craft that I was interested in. 
So I was very interested to see uh, when we went to our presentation you know, with the faculty, uh, I saw the name Ryan Germick and I thought, I know that name. And then I saw him down there in the front and, uh, and I thought, yeah, he does look familiar. And then I remembered back to, to uh, back when he was in chemistry class. He, he was an interesting guy. He's very bright, very, uh, very sharp, hardworking guy. And um, he's, he's really um, taken some good opportunities to, to make um, something out of a career. You know, he, he didn't take a standard career development path, but he worked hard in everything he did and he took best advantage of his interests and his, his uh, strengths. And he worked into a, a, an outstanding position for himself. Um, and it's, it's really nice that uh, even though he wasn't a Merrillville guy all the way through his school career that he felt enough about, uh, about Merrillville to come on back here and, and to try and give back to the community um, and the, the students uh, at his old high school. So that's a really impressive thing. Uh, you know, just like a, a, a tool, but it was also an opportunity to have like an emotional connection. And, um, you know, you guys like watch like Wally, you like, you know, like cry at Wally and stuff. Care about robots? You can cry at Wally. You got hard as stone, my friend. <laughs> Watch out! This, this guy's dangerous. Sociopath is what this guy might be. He's staring. He hasn't, he hasn't blinked. I've been watching him for like a minute. <laughs> anyway, and I really feel like. Um, but I think the best thing is definitely connecting with students. Like, um, you know, getting the, you know, like trying to make them laugh in the talk or, or getting uh, really some really great questions. You know, people asking me about like difficult political things we have to navigate or somebody asking me what kind of car I drive or whatever, like whether it's like personal or political or you know about the creative process or anything. It's just cool to know that, you know, students are thinking about this stuff and you know like I said like my hope is just to you know I have I recognize that I have a pretty unusual career path. And I just want to you know, let folks from my hometown know that like they could go where they want. You know, they could, life could lead them anywhere. At this stage in their life, there's just so much opportunity. And uh, if they listen to that little voice, hopefully it takes them to a place that you know, it's a positive journey for them and a way for them to um, you know, like find their place. I thank you to Maryville for the, the, the opportunity to come back. Uh, thanks for the lunch. Um, thanks for the tour. Um, thanks for the great questions. And uh, I wish you all well. <laughs>